Hi, this is Richard Quack here, coming to you live from Malaysia. I would like to welcome you to my weekly live video. And in today's session, I would like to talk about personal development. And the topic is, how big is your dream? How big is your dream? Now, before I proceed, do you have dream? Do you have dream? Well, most of you will be thinking that, you know, I'm asking a very stupid question. But the sad truth is that there are people outside there do, who do not have dreams at all. It's the truth. I've spoken to various people out there and some of them do not have dreams at all. So it's not surprising, all right? Now, the people who do not have dreams, what are they likened to? They are like, if you go and visit a cemetery, all right, you see all the dead people buried there. Of course, they don't have dream. Isn't it true? They don't have dream. But the sad thing is that people who are still alive, if you don't have dreams, it's just like you are already dead, but not yet buried, that's all. You are dead, but not yet buried because you don't have dream. If you are still alive, you should have dream. Without dream, you are going nowhere. All right. Now, the... An old Chinese quote all right, says that if you aim at nothing, you are sure to hit it, which is very true. So if you aim at nothing at, you know, whatsoever, you are going to hit it because you are going to hit at nothing. How can you achieve success when you don't have a dream or you don't have an intention, a goal, where you want to, what you, what you want to achieve? Okay? So you got to have a goal or a dream. Now, Another basic question I'll ask you is this. Do you know what you want? Do you know what you want? Now, the thing here is that you can have anything you want. But the sad truth is that most people do not know what they want. All right? You can have anything you want. That is a very profound statement. The thing is that you can have anything you want. But the sad thing is that most people do not know what they want. If you don't believe me, go out and ask. You know? your friends or the uh, stranger outside there, you know, what do they want out of life? Most of them will be blank because why? They don't know what they want. Because if they really know what they want, it will be a reflex action. They will be able to tell you instantly without thinking. It is already in the subconscious mind. But the sad thing is that when people start thinking about it, that means they don't know what they want. All right. Now, You can live your own life. It is a choice. You can live a life, okay, by design. That means you can design your own life. If you know what you want, you can design your own life. But sadly enough, people live their life by chance or default. They just let life happen to them. And you know what? When you let life happen to you, it is not something that you want. And they start complaining all the time. Because why? When you don't have a goal, a dream, then you have nothing to shoot at. Okay? A lot of people outside there try to say, okay, they live their life just to pay off their bills. That's all. All right, they live a life just to pay off the bills. How sad it is just to pay off the bills. That's the basic necessity, right? But that's what people live their life by. And, you know, we can live a life of abundance and contribution or a life of struggle and scarcity. It is your choice. It is your choice. You can live a life of abundance and contribution, which this world has a lot of abundance for you. The only problem is that we choose to live a life of struggle and scarcity. So we are in a place where we do not want, but it is always our choice, our decision that we make. All right. Now, the reality is that whether you dream big or dream small, the effort is still the same. The effort is the same. If you dream small, the effort is the same. If you dream big, the effort is the same. But why is it that, you know, people choose to dream small or don't have dream at all? I mean, why is that so? Let's have a look at why. Number one, I believe it's because of the old programming that they have. Okay, you see, humans have been conditioned throughout their whole life. Okay, they've been conditioned throughout their whole life by their uh, peers, by their parents, by their co-workers, and so on, right? By the environment they're surrounded with. So we have a lot of old programming, and basically our old programming are not helping us to become successful. 
Okay, we have a lot of uh, failure in our life. Uh, we fail many times. Therefore, you know, when you fail many times, you 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 do not want to try again. All right, you do not like to want to try again. It's just like the story of the elephant. You know, when an elephant is just a little elephant, you know, they would take the elephant and put a, a tie it to a small rope and then take a stick and uh, hit it. Uh, what called? Put it into the ground. Okay, and the elephant is small. The, the elephant cannot. Uh, uh, escape, cannot move, all right? But when the elephant is fully grown, okay, they bring the elephant back and they still put the rope there and put a stake on the ground. And you know what? The elephant is strong enough to pull and escape from the stake. But you know what? They have been conditioned to think that they couldn't do it, so now it's no use trying. That is what a lot of human beings are like that, okay? They, they have failed many times before and they think that, well, it's not possible. Because I failed before, why should I try? It's no use. But the sad thing is that, you know, today, okay, it's a different day. It's a new day. You can create what you want from today onwards. Don't live your life dwelling on the past. The past is past. You have already paid for it. Look forward to the present moment and move into the future. Okay? All programming. What are the old programming like? The habits that you have, probably you have... A lot of negative habits throughout your whole life. You pick it up. All right. And you have a lot of fear as well. You fear to do a lot of things. You have a lot of doubt. Doubt comes together with fear. All right. And you know, when you have doubt, you have fear, then it is just like you drive a car with a handbrake on. How can you move forward when you have a handbrake on? So basically, you got to pick up good habit and remove fear and doubt from your life as far as possible. And negativity is another thing. Most people are very negative. Whatever you talk to them, whatever you tell them, they always convert something in positive into negative. All right. But in life, you know, there is a lot of polarity. Where there is cold, there is hot. Okay. Where if there is high, there is low. Where there is brightness, there is darkness. So basically, there is a lot of polarity. But we have to choose what you want to focus on. But most people choose to focus on the negative side. When they see a, a cup, half full, they say it's half empty. All right. Or when they see a donut, they say uh, they focus on a hole in the center rather than focusing on the delicious donut. So what do you focus on? It is all because of your negativity. You have been conditioned that way. So we have to change that. All right. You have to change that. And there are many ways to do that. Uh, one of the ways is by uh, meditation, or maybe by hypnosis, by affirmation, and so there are many ways about, uh, about it, but I'm not going to go through it, all right? But these are the reasons why people don't have big dreams, okay? Now, what you can do is that to help you write down what you want, all right? It's no point keeping it in your head or in your mind, all right? Write it down, okay? Write it down as a gold card. Get a card, all right? A card. Maybe a, a, a small little cut like this, all right? I always have this cut in my in front of me, okay? This type of, this, this type of cut, all right? This size cut, all right? You can write it down and then carry it around. Right? What do you want, all right? I'm write it as if it has already happened. I'm now having one million US dollar in my bank account. I am now having, not I want to have, all right? So basically, I am now having... And once you write, write it on a card, read it daily. Okay, put it in your pocket. Every time when you're free, take the card out and read it. You know what? You may write something on a card that you may not believe. Well, one million dollar in my bank account. You may not believe, but you know what? When you keep repeating it, repeating it, repeating it, you know what? It goes into your subconscious mind and you start to believe it and you start to manifest it in your life. So it's very important, all right, to have a gold card. All right, the other thing that you can do is uh, having a vision board. Okay, get a cardboard, you know, and then get a lot of pictures from the internet, pictures of what are your dream, the house of your dream, the car of your dream, the, the, the holidays of your dream, okay, the toys of your dream. Put it there. And when you have a vision board, you know, paste it somewhere that you can see every single day. All right, like my one is in front of my computer here. This is my computer here, but it's on the side, on the right-hand side, the uh, dream, 
a vision board is there. The vision board is there. All right, whereby I can see every time. All right. And the third thing is, a uh, mind movie. Mind, mind movie is very popular now, but of course, it takes some knowledge and technical knowledge as well to be able to create it. All right. A uh, uh, mind movie is basically, you know, what what you want, your desire, your dream. Put it on, uh, you know, maybe on on PowerPoint. Okay. Convert it into a JPEG. All right, and make a movie out of it. Or from the PowerPoint. All right, you can convert the PowerPoint into movie. Do you realize that you can convert it into movie? Format, all right, and put some music to it. Then that's you can watch it every day. Okay, maybe two times a day you watch the mind movie. Yeah. Now, why are you doing this? Go kart vision board mind movie. The whole idea is to keep on reminding yourself about what you want. What is your goal? What is your dream? Reminder, reminding yourself. All right, because why? If you know the law of attraction, it states, you know, okay. What you think about, you are going to bring about. What you think about regularly or all the time, you are going to bring about. All right. The thing is that, how often do you think about your dream? Maybe a few minutes a day. After that, the rest of the day, you forget about it. You focus on all the negative things. Why uh, it does not happen to you. Why you are so unfortunate and so on. So when you have the go kart vision board and my movie, it is to remind you, keep on reminding you of what you want in your life. The more you remind yourself, the more it stick and goes into the subconscious mind. And once it goes into the subconscious mind, the subconscious mind is a powerhouse that will bring it into reality. Okay, so that's the reason why you have go kart, you have vision board, or even you create my movie is to remind yourself uh, uh, often. All right, as often as possible that, you know, this is your goal. Because most of the time, we don't remind ourselves. When you don't remind yourself, you are busy with other things. And most of the time, when you're busy with other things, you're thinking about all the negative things in life. Admit it to yourself. All right, what do you think most of the time? I know you want to be successful. You want to uh, have one million US dollar in your bank account, let's say, all right, one million. Uh, pardon me, some people might want more. I don't know, but I'm giving an example here. One million dollar in your bank account. You know, uh, but most of the time, what do you think? You probably think about it maybe for five minutes a day, that's all. Then the rest of the day, you think about all the problems, all the challenges, and you start complaining about why uh, you are so unfortunate and so on. See, that is why you're attracting what you focus on. Remember that the law of attraction works. The only problem is that people are using it wrongly. They focus on not what they want, but they focus on what they do not want. When you complain, let me tell you, when you complain, are you focusing on what you want or what you do not want? Right? Well, most of us complain most of the time. When you complain, it just proves to you that, you know, you are talking about what you do not want. Test it for one week. Test it for one week, all right? Test it for one week and focus on your goal. Just for one week. All right, just for one week, that's it. I remember, you know, last time I read a book, No Complain World. No Complain World. That means uh, you don't complain at all. Okay, you wear a, a what you call a tag here, a, a bracelet. All right, you wear a no complain bracelet. Okay, and basically, you cannot complain for 30 days in a row. That means no complain for 30 days. What happened is that, you know, if on the second day, you don't complain for one week, all right? But on the eighth day, you complain. Then you know what? Go back to day one again and start all working until you can complete 30 days of no complaint. Well, if you don't complain for 30 days in a row, it becomes a, hob it becomes a habit. And let me assure you, your life will totally change because you will start attracting what you want. Because complaining is one of the uh, uh, criteria of Focusing on what you do not want. Okay? So, as a reminder to end this session here, okay, think about you want all the time. Think about what you want all the time. So, ask yourself, what do you really want? You must know what you want. All right? You yourself know what you want. And then write it down on a goal card. Okay? Put it on a vision board or create a mind movie for that. All right? You see... We can have anything we want. The only thing is that we focus on what we do not want most of the time. 
Okay, so that that's the end of my session today. And let me summarize about what I spoke about today. How big is your dream? Do you have dream? You'd be surprised. Some people do not have dream at all. All right, if you don't have dream, it's just like you are dead but not yet buried. That's all. All right. If you aim at nothing, you're sure to hit it. So do you know what you want? Okay. Uh, you can live your life by design. That's the good news. You can live your life by design. But most people choose to live their life by default, by chance. Okay. They live their lives just to pay off the bill. Uh, you know, and they live a life of scarcity. All right. Rather than a life of abundance and contribution. All right. Dream big. Not only dream, dream big because it takes the same effort to dream big or dream small. Okay. Why people don't have big dreams? Because of old programming. Okay. They've been brought up in that way. They've been programmed throughout the years from childhood until where they are now. Okay. And they have bad habits. Okay. Habits of fear, doubt, negativity, and so on. So, lastly, there are three things to remind yourself about your dream Go Kart, Vision Board, and My Movie. Okay. So that's all my sharing. I hope that you learned something here. If you like what you hear and see, please feel free to like, to share, and to comment. I appreciate you for the time that you spent with me here. So uh, I will see you again for another uh, session of my live video on Friday. Okay. So this is Rich, Richard Quack here from Malaysia. Wishing you good night and goodbye. <laughs>